Hello, welcome to Ashton's Trader Joe's Wine and Spirit Review. My name is Ashton, I will be your host, and I'm gonna be reviewing everything that is Trader Joe's. Alcohol, of course. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing um, Trader Joe's Petite Reserves, Grand Reserves, all of the Trader Joe's wines, and also just awesome, cool whiskeys that come in that are Trader Joe's and just cool hustle buys. So I figured with my first video, I would start with the reigning master of Trader Joe's wines. And that is Chucky, AKA Charles Shaw. <clears throat> so we're gonna be going down the line here. The first one I'm gonna do is the Shiraz. Let's get into it. Hello, this is the blend. All right, I got some notes. Now, my goal is to have as much information as possible for every wine or spirit or beer that I do here. And if I don't, I apologize. So let's start with the Shiraz. So let's go. Appalachian, California, of course. It's 75% uh, Shiraz or Syrah. I don't know why they say Shiraz because it's from California. 25% proprietor's blend. Alcohol is 12.5. Alrighty, winemaker's notes. This beautiful ruby colored wine has aromas of blackberry and pepper, flavors of plum and cherry, with subtle tannins providing a smooth finish. Let's take it for a little bit here. Mm. Now I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit of a snob, and um, Charles Shaw has always, well, it's never really been on my radar, so let's just give it a shot. I mean, it's one of the most popular wines Trader Joe's seems to sell, so I figured this is appropriate to, to try it. So let's go in for the Shiraz, a.k.a. Syrah. Definitely getting the blackberry, that's for sure. I'm not getting any pepper notes though. Hold on, let's keep going here. Okay. I'm not getting pepper, I'm getting more, more cherry and blackberry. But not a lot of pepper. Okay, let's go in for a taste. Definitely getting cherry. Uh, I mean, getting some plum notes for sure. Getting like a tiny bit of leather. I don't know if it's just my palate at the moment. It's actually really not that bad. I'm actually surprised. Definitely getting more cherry than anything. A little bit of leather, which I'm kind of finding strange, but. Surprised, actually, surprised, not bad. What is this one? Let's go for the blend. Not bad, I'm actually pretty surprised on the Shiraz. Syrah. Uh, blend. Appalachian, California, of course. Blend is, um, now, there are two grapes in here that I've never heard of. Um, so if I do not pronounce them correctly, I do apologize. So the blend is 33% uh, Arinar Noah, not sure what that is. 20% Ruby Cabernet, not really sure what that is either. 12% uh, Segalin. 35% proprietary blend. Uh, 
Alcohol is 12.5. Winemaker's notes. Dark ruby red color with toasty oak framed cherry, currant, and wild berry nose, which leads to a full measure of flavor and complex fruit on the palate. Let's go for it. This actually smells very good, I'm not gonna lie. It has a very nice smell to it. What does it say? Is it, is it nose? It's got actually a really nice oaky smell to it. Definitely getting the oak, I'm definitely getting the current. Say it, this stuff smells not bad. Now, mind you, let's back up for a second. The Shiraz is 2016, and so far the blend is at 2016 as well. So this is going to be the 16 for both of these so far. Definitely getting the the oak. I'm definitely getting the current. A little bit of plum. I'm actually very shocked and how good this actually smells it's it's surprisingly good how good it smells it smells pretty good let's get into it i'm trying to make these videos shorter than usual definitely getting a current flavor the oak all of it really smooth easy to drink it's I'm not gonna lie, I'm very impressed with the red blend. I'm very impressed. This is actually pretty damn good wine. For, oh, and if y'all didn't know, uh, at least here in California, two buck chuck was $2.99 forever. Some states it's $3.99. Two buck chuck officially starting today went from $2.99, which with tax is three buck chuck went down to one and nine. So it's officially two buck chuck again. So go buy two buck chuck because it's two bucks again. Very nice nuanced oak. It's like the perfect amount of oak. It's got the current flavor, got some plum in there, some dark cherries. Very surprised how actually how pr pretty damn good this is. So far, this is the winner. Moving on to the Cabernet Sauvignon. Red blend. Now, mind you, this is the first video I'm doing. I'm starting with the reds. The second video I'm going to do is going to be with the whites, and then I'm going to move on to the to the better stuff, quote unquote. So let's go cap. Appalachian, California, of course. Blend is 76.47% Cabernet Sauv. 23.53% proprietary red blend. Alcohol is 12.5. Winemaker's notes. This deep ruby colored wine offers aromatics of blackberry, cherry, and vanilla with flavors of plum and raspberry. Tannins are soft and layered. Give it a whirl. <sighs> not bad either. Just so surprised. I'm not going to lie, guys. Chucky is surprising me. I, I mean, so far the Shiraz was okay. The Red Blend was pretty darn good. The Cab is, has a great nose to it. And the cab year is 16. 16. Is this one? We'll get into that in a minute. Oh, man. I 
blackberry. I mean, it even says right here. I mean, this smells like blackberries, like fresh blackberry juice. This is surprising. It smells good. Getting a little bit of cherry as well. But I mean, mainly like blackberry. I mean, this literally smells like blackberry juice. The 2016 Trail Shaw Cab Sock smells like blackberry juice. That, I, I'm not getting much more. Very little oak, a little bit of oak, but not too much oak. I mean, very subtle oak. Let's dive into it. Getting a little more current there. Not much. What is that? Dark cherries on the on the on the palate a little bit. I'm gonna keep going here. You know, I really should have got some crackers here because I feel like I'm starting to too much stuff going on here. In my mouth. I'm gonna shorten it up. Blackberry on the nose. Honestly, blackberry on the palate, really. A little bit of curd in there, a little bit of dark cherry. <sighs> There's something else I just can't put my finger on at the moment. Let's go back in. I don't like reading the notes. I feel like it's cheating, but let's go for it anyway. Aromatics, not sure. Vanilla, I'm not really getting a lot of vanilla in it. I'm getting lots of blackberry. Yeah, plum. A little bit of raspberry, I guess. I'm getting more of a blackberry on the on the palate than the raspberry. I'm not getting a lot of plum either. It's definitely nice. I, I, I'm shocked again with Shaw. I mean, I always thought Shaw would be terrible. Uh, not bad. I mean, really not bad. I mean, all three. Shiraz has been my least favorite. This is going to be my second favorite. And this is going to be my first favorite. I mean, the red blend is actually, it's not bad. I mean, it's good. I mean, I, 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 I don't, oh. I got more, I got Merlot. Okay, let's go Merlot. Vintage, I should start with the vintage. The vintage is 2015. Show shot. Appalachian, California, of course. Blend is 76% Merlot. 24% proprietary blend. Proprietary blend. I'm not good at saying that word. Because I don't like it. I don't like that word. In anything. Alcohol is 12.5. Typical. Uh, winemaker's notes. Fruit forward. <clears throat> excuse me. Fruit forward profile. Including blackberry, cherry, and vanilla spice. The finish is long and soft with silky tannins. Let's go, let's go for it. This video is already taking too long. I want them short and sweet. That's why I'm only doing four at a time. My original plan was two, but I just I went for four. Most of my videos are gonna be one bottle at a time. Short and sweet, cool and fun. All Trader Joe's stuff. Um, like I said, I would say about 60% is gonna be Trader Joe's wines in particular. Char Charles Shaw is a Trader Joe's wine. You cannot find this anywhere else. And if you do, they're selling it illegally. Uh, so it's going to be Petite Reserve, Grower's Reserve, Platinum Reserve, and the new and improved Diamond Reserve. It doesn't come out often. And as soon as it comes out, I will post a video about whatever it is. All the Trader Joe's Single Malts, the Trader Joe's Irish whiskeys, which I'm going to be doing soon. All of those. That's going to be about 60%. 40% is going to be the hustle buys that come in and just a damn good wine for good price that comes into Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has excellent, excellent prices. And I get 90% of my alcohol from them, 10%, no, 8% high times, which if you're not from California, you won't understand. And I feel bad for you that you guys do not have a high times wine cellar. 
they have everything you can imagine with wine and whiskey, almost everything. And I'd say 2% total wine. Anyway, let's dive in the middle. Off the bat, the nose isn't friendly for me personally. I mean, it says here, profile included blackberry, cherry, and vanilla spice. It's not really specific. On, uh, I'm just gonna tell you, I'm just gonna tell you what I think here. You guys got enough information. It smells like, personally what I'm smelling, if I should say that, but that's just what I smell. Ink. For me, I'm getting a, 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 a ink dot as far as like, like pen ink. It's weird. Ink. This is definitely my least favorite so far, as, as far as the nose goes. Let's, let's just, ink, I'm definitely getting dark cherry though, now that I'm swirling it around more. Current, actually, wait, a little bit of tobacco. A little bit of tobacco and a little bit of oak. Mustache hairs are a little out of control. It's not much to this one. It's got a nice classic Merlot taste. Um, I don't know, this is definitely my least favorite, but the nose to me smells like ink, tobacco, slight. Oak slight, and a little bit of dark cherry, but I could be getting that wrong. One more taste, and then we're done with this because it's already taking too long. Not bad. Actually, not bad. Doesn't smell too good. Mild oak. Yeah, not bad. So winner, the winner of today is by far the red one. I would have to say coming in second, Cab, third Shiraz, fourth Merlot. It's not because I don't like Merlot, I love Merlot. This Merlot is just, it, it's not bad. It's really not that bad. It has some good flavor to it. The ink kind of throws me off a little bit, but that could, be in my head, I don't know. That's just what I personally smell. Everybody is different. Mm. Wait. Motor oil. Can't believe I just said that. Metallic motor oil. That's just the last note I got in that. But it doesn't actually taste pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I would not mind drinking that. But let's go back to my favorite. My palate is just destroyed at this point, I would imagine. Couldn't find the crackers that I bought, I think. One of my kids got to them or something, I don't know. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, so far, winner is the Trollshaw Red Blend. This is Trollshaw Reds. Next video I'll do, at least, I will be doing it soon, is going to be the whites. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe. And I will be doing a lot more of these videos. I'm passionate about spirits. I'm passionate about wines. I freaking love this stuff. I mean, you guys don't even know how much this type of stuff means to me. And, um, and yeah, I, I decided with Trader Joe's because, damn, they have good shit. I mean, this is Charles Shop, And I, 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 I'm a, I so-called a snob. I try not to be with wine, but I kind of am. 
And uh, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with all four of these wines. I mean, all four of these wines are really not that bad. I mean, the blend is delicious. I mean, really, I mean, I wouldn't even mind this being a daily drinker. That's how good it was to me. Uh, I kind of get now why these people buy it. I mean, oh, can't believe I'm saying this. But uh, yeah, Charles Shaw, not too bad. Remember, $1.99, at least in California. So if you don't live in California, I'm sorry. And also, if you are seeing this video and you live in a state where Trader Joe's doesn't sell alcohol, I'm sorry. Because I know you guys have your, your, your state liquor stores or whatever you have. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be mainly doing Trader Joe's. But also, I'll be doing some other reviews. But I would say 95% of all my reviews are going to be Trader Joe's stuff. So enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe. That's Janelle.